Hi you guys, welcome back to Hangout with Degas. So as you can see, I'm all set up now in my new BV. It's a hooped BV by OEX. And it's the Bush Pro Salamander. Hi you guys, welcome back to Hangout with Degas. So as you can see, I'm all set up now in my new BV. It's a hooped BV by OEX and it's the Bush Pro Salamander. So yeah, my first time out in this. It's not gonna go below 11, 12 degrees tonight. So I might not even get my sleeping bag out. I'll wait and see a little bit later on. But uh, I think what I'm gonna do now is just settle down a little bit get some uh, food on the go and uh, yeah just chill out So for food, I've got some Mexican spicy grains. I bought a wrap because that was that was left over. Protein wrap. And I've got some Cajun non-chicken, which is really, really nice. So I'm gonna whack all that together.
well I've got to say really nice what a spot how quiet is it as well on a school night as well I nearly never came but now as always I'm glad that I did Well, that was delicious. I don't know what it is about when you go camping and the food just always seems to taste better. Um, it's mad, it really is mad. Uh, but that was delicious. So what I'm gonna do now is just have a bit of a tidy up, do my washing up, and then I'll see you in a bit when I'm gonna be boiling some more water for another cup of tea. And then I'm gonna get to bed. Sweet, all washed up and good to go. Let's have another brew. And then we'll get off to bed. Looking forward to trying this out. It doesn't look that big, but I mean, I'm only a short horse anyway, so I should be okay. I've bought my summer sleeping bag, but I don't think I'm gonna bother with that. I've got my fleece, so if I do get a little bit cold in the night, I'll just grab my fleece, but yeah, I'm just gonna get in and uh, see how it goes. What I actually love about this uh, this Trangia 27 set is how quiet it is. So I've always just used my gas stove before, but yeah, this is just so quiet, no noise. I really like it, to be fair. Yeah, what I love about it is like the, uh, just like how easy it is, so compact. You don't need a windshield. It's literally all built in. And then obviously when you finish boiling your water or cooking or what have you, it's almost like I've got my own little campfire. It's brilliant. It's only the second time I've used it. If you want to see me cook a Indian on it, uh, Indian curry, check out my last video. And uh, on that video, I'll also show you my experience of cycling 310 kilometers around Rajasthan in India. Definitely go check that out. I'll tag it to the end of this video.
So while I um, drink my cup of tea, just wanted to let you know, those of you that follow me, and have been following me for some time, just wanted to say thank you. Thank you to all of my subscribers and everybody that hits the thumbs up and comments on my videos. I've had some lovely comments. And um, yeah, I'd just like to let you know that I have started another channel and it's called Discussions with Deggers. I'll put my little icon up now on my channel, so if you want to, you can go and follow. And basically what I'm gonna be aiming to do with, with that channel is, I've always fancied doing like a video podcast type channel on social media because I do love talking, even though I'm like a little bit unsociable. I do love talking to people and having interesting conversations and um, I managed to secure an interview. If you go and watch the last video, you'll see like the thumbnail. It says um, dinosaurs never existed and it's basically a chat with a guy called uh, John Hamer and he has come to the conclusion that um, what we've been told isn't necessarily true so our history might not be as like we've been taught now I'm the kind of person that's like I'm open-minded now I wouldn't say that you know I go along and believe everything that John says in the interview but what I would say is I think anybody's got the right to express their thoughts and their feelings and their opinions as long as it's not hurting anyone else and I've got to be honest I did did find it a really really interesting conversation um, do I believe that the dinosaurs didn't exist that's a tough one that I do you know to to create a hoax like that yeah, it's, that, that's just a tough one for me to get my head around that, you know, I mean, there's fossils apparently. I mean, again, I don't really know enough um, to know either way. You know, I'm open-minded enough to, to realise that I don't know. I actually don't know, really. Uh, with the amount of lies that we've been told in recent years with our government and our politicians, nothing would surprise me, that's all I'm going to say. Um, I'm not into the old flat earth thing. I don't believe that the earth is flat. I'm, I just can't, yeah, I just can't bring myself to, to like look into that seriously, in all honesty. Um, but yeah, it was a really interesting conversation. And if, if that kind of thing like sort of strikes your interest and what have you, head on over to my other channel, Discussion with Deggers. Be sure to subscribe and uh, just check out my content. And I'm gonna be looking to hopefully, you know, get some more interesting people to interview um, in the next one I'm going to be chatting to one of my oldest friends and we're literally just as mates we're just gonna sit down and have a chat and discuss 80s and 90s action movies so we're going to be covering like Stallone, Arnie, Van Damme, Seagal you know all the action films from the 80s and 90s and what I will say is that is going to be fun because my friend is quite fanatical about it. He's very passionate about it. Absolutely like loves that era, loves all those films from back in the day. Um, and he's a massive Stallone fan, loves Rocky and Rambo more than anything. So um, again, you know, that, that, is, that will be funny. Um, so yeah, again, head over to my other channel, Discussions with Deggers, and uh, if you wanna check that video out that will be my next video on that channel Then guys, I'm gonna pack this stuff up, get myself to bed. See you in a minute.
first time in a bivvy. This is tight. Okay. Okay, we're in. We're in. Let me just check that. Yep. We're in. Yep. It's bloody tight in here. Not not for people that are claustrophobic. It's uh it's like being in a bloody coffin. And I've never been in a coffin, but this is what I imagine it to be. Like, if you get in a coffin, and Christ, it's warm. Man. <sighs> yeah, definitely do not need my sleeping bag. I'm glad I never got that. Got that out of the bag. Oh, so, once you're in and you're comfortable, it's not too bad. There's a little hook up here so i've been able to just put my little lantern on there um and yeah it's it's tight i mean and i'm a short arse so i mean i wouldn't recommend this to anyone that's like six foot six foot or over forget it i'm five foot seven and a half i like to add the half on there you know um and it's tight for me so but Let's see how it fares. Let's see how I sleep. And uh, yeah, I'm going to knock this off now. Ah, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. And uh, I'll see you in the morning. Night, night. morning well all I'm gonna say about that bivvy is it's not really my cup of tea in all honesty I've probably had about an hour and a half to kick and uh, yeah just couldn't get comfortable don't like the fact that you can't sit up and it's not easy to move around in there. I'm not saying I won't use it again, but yeah, it's definitely well down the pecking order in terms of like what I want to use as a shelter when I'm out camping. Five to five. So I'm gonna have this cup of tea and then I'm gonna start packing up. Gonna let that burn out. It's 
It's about to go. There it goes. Always the worst bit in it, packing away. That wasn't meant to happen. As always guys, we leave no trace. Take all our rubbish home. It's like we've never been here. <laughs>